Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the positive energy you you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, let's get in there like a swimwear. Grand rising to all my... Uh, Elect ones, chosen ones, awakened souls, earth angels, all right? I see you're in a balanced energy, okay? I'm also hearing balanced perspective. Some of you, you have tapped into the spirit realm or your spirit guides, all right? You are somebody that's able to view things from both perspectives, okay? And what I mean by that is a 3D perspective in a 5D uh, perspective. I'm also hearing Sangoma, all right? So some of you, you may have encountered one. You could be one, all right? Either show me what it is I need to see. In the last reading, it talked about... Uh, this is the second filming of today, but it, it did talk about a high priest... Okay, so this high priest could be the Sangoma. This is somebody that, you know, is commissioned in dark energy and root work. All right. This person has the ability to take you out. Okay. And to grant you some sort of blessing. All right. So it's going to resonate different for everyone okay some of you you may have encountered somebody like that unbeknownst to you especially with this Taurus being here this is my high priest card uh, our high priestess this is somebody that does root work spell craft bitch craft witch craft voodoo who do take it high resonate necromancy they do it on your um finances on your love life now for some of you this person is not a sangoma all right they may think they are but all they are is a devil's minion this is somebody that wasted a lot of time energy trying to bind themselves to you okay what they did was they bound themselves to the devil i feel like this is a behind the scenes view of what some of the individuals that have been doing root work and spell work on us uh, people that we don't know this lifetime okay for some of you you may know these individuals because for some of you this is your own family member uh, for some of you this person may have done something to make uh, specifically for some of you your child's father leave all right with the venus being here this is definitely somebody doing root work on your finances on your love life. Either show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, somebody was doing binding work. All right, so this person is, you know, they're watching. They're stalking, they're hawking, you know, your YouTube channel, your uh, Twitter, your Twitch. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, you work with these people, okay? Some of you, you may live in the house with these people, some of you feel stuck and you feel trapped and bound. What I'm being guided to let you know is you have to take a leap of faith while well, Uranus is being here. You have to be a rebellious spirit. You have to uh, unhook yourself. <laughs> you have to unhook yourself from from the, the, the real, from the fishing pole, okay? Others of you, you have somebody did some sort of work to make somebody leave you, okay? Your children could be involved. Somebody could have tried to separate you from your children. Some of you, you're paying legal defense for your children is what I'm getting. Somebody's being watched, okay? Somebody is also, um, you know, they may have ghosted social media, but this is, this is somebody that's somehow watching you, all right? I'm hearing from afar. This person could live in a different country, different city, state, or whatever, take it how it resonates. This is something somebody that uh, is refusing to learn their lesson. You could be dealing with the Capricorn or somebody um, that's very low vibrational. And it's not saying all Capricorns is that way, but this is a low vibrational reading, all right? Somebody that's stubborn, somebody that's demonic, somebody that uh, worships false gods. Now, that false god would be money, clothes, hoes, take it how it resonates, all right? We got the sun card here. We have a Leo, all right, but what I'm getting for this Leo situation, you could be a divine masculine, all right? You may have to walk away from a situation because you may have found out that somebody may have tried to trap you with children here, okay? So we also have Aquarius being here. We got Venus, Taurus, Libra um, energy, all right? Some of you, you're a divine feminine. You have, uh, you know, 
People trying to scapegoat you, trying to accuse you of doing things that you haven't done. Uh, one of the visions that I received before I turned on the camera was uh, someone, you know, they're doing this energy work, okay? And and for some of you, it's your divine counterpart that they're doing this to, okay? So what's happening? Or, well, they're doing it to you, but you're feeling it. All right, some of you that's having upset stomachs and uh, uh, back problems. For some of you, even feet problems. I don't know. Somebody could be a Pisces, but what um uh what I was getting was somebody would do this root work, right? And and the way this person is, they're so mentally manipulative. They do this work, energy work. They're drained after it comes back, right? So your divine counterpart may be their child's father. I mean, yeah, their child's father, their child's mother. What happens is they get sick afterwards and this person goes back and, um, you know, they they start talking about somebody doing work on them. That came up about a year ago. Now, before, uh, a little while ago, all right, this person was falling for it. They was going back because they was actually bound to this person. All right. That binding could have been children. OK, so somebody was somebody left a home. OK, and they were still paying for the expenses in the home that they left because they they have children here, uh, children there. All right. So this would be an individual that feels sorry for their child's mother. All right. But these children are getting grown. So for some of you, this has been happening for years. I'm getting. All right. So this is somebody that's refusing to learn their lesson. This person could be watching light workers. They could be watching readers. OK, for some of you, these people uh, have been started watching dark shit like real you know, shit like how to out, outsmart the devil and how to pass a lie detector test. I don't know why that's been coming up for a long time. So these people are aware that they have individuals watching them. Now, for some of you, the people that was into the real dark, dark, heavy shit, they stopped. Okay, but you still have other individuals, possibly their child's mother, child's father, that are going to different people and trying to have these different people uh, do energy work on you. Specifically for some of you, they you know they're doing picture work and 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 things of that sort. So they're going to altars. They're doing altar spells with your pictures. Okay, some of you may have experienced like some uh, issues with your piping. Okay, because somebody works with water deities is what I'm getting. All right, so you are. Are a guide or you were being guided by someone to do something let's see you was guiding somebody out of the darkness this is person was keeping secrets all right with the tempers being here somebody definitely attacked uh, attacked the earth angel this is somebody um the person that they attacked is an earth angel but this is somebody that lost their spiritual protection because they was doing this out of greed lust money wanting to be something that they're not for some of you these people are jealous and envious because you are a divine being all right now these people may have offered you an empty cup all right so this would be somebody that you turn down all right this could be somebody that you know okay like an ex but for some of you if you are on a public platform this is like a past life connection all right this would be somebody that's spiritual but they're like a low vibration type of spiritual this is somebody that'll do voodoo or hoodoo but they don't believe in like earth angels and, and god and shit like this is somebody that's confused all right I'm also hearing confessions, all right? So somebody may have came through and spoke some harsh truth and ended something, yeah, with a third party, all right? So yeah, somebody was being scapegoat, all right? <laughs> somebody also blames the devil for everything, right? You know, so this person has a limited perspective. Again, this is where that Sengoma energy come in, all right? So somebody is definitely balanced with the sun card being here. And we have Libra. So somebody balanced their masculine and feminine energy. For some of you, you've reconnected uh, with a, a, a childhood soulmate. Okay. For some of you, you could be having a child. You may get some news that you're having a child. All right. With the Wheel of Fortune here, somebody was doing uh, something on your... Um, what is that on your sacral and solar solar plexus to block your creativity some of you you're having problems uh bearing children because of that okay so whoever you're around you need to stop taking advice from that person you possibly need to leave uh if you're in a um if you stay in the same area or house or if you work with these people some of you are going to get a, sp a surprise opportunity like a new job something like that that you may have to travel 
Okay, somebody could also experience like a, you know, a health scare, like you hear the sirens going off. All right. Yeah, somebody needs to pay attention to their intuition. Someone sees you as a mystery, no matter if you are male or female, okay, with the empress being here. This is somebody that didn't, they looked at you and they didn't believe that you were a divine, uh, a divine person. All right. So this person is all in their head. Some of you, you have your divine masculine, divine feminine defending you on the 5D. Yeah. Somebody wants to speak some sort of truth. This person knows that the scales have to be balanced in this situation. All right. This person may not have believed that their friends and family members, co-workers were sending you negative energy. But however, this person is fully aware now, possibly because, yeah, they completed a cycle. So somebody came up out of the fog with Saturn being here. Yeah, somebody's very upset, okay? Somebody could be a Leo, a Capricorn, Gemini, Aries, Taurus. Uh, I'm also hearing Virgo and a Libra. Look, yeah, yeah. So somebody is upset because you're able to view things from a different perspective. They may not have felt like you were a light worker or something like that because this person has a, a 3D... They have a 3D view of what light workers are. Okay, so this would be somebody that was very religious. This is also somebody that believes in the status quo. All right, this is somebody that believes that, you know, you should marry for money is what I'm getting. So somebody bound themselves to a very toxic uh, situation, taking advice of uh, past life karmics, past life friends and family members, people that want to keep this person's perspective uh, in a low vibing energy is what I'm getting. All right. So yeah, we, the, the scales have to be balanced with the six of pentacles being here. Somebody was given too much in a situation. OK, or you were taking too much from someone or something, possibly at a job. OK. Somebody possibly wants to help you or invest in you or they made an investment with the wrong person. Yeah, somebody is pregnant is what I'm getting. So somebody's coming out of hermit mode. This person may be re being released from the hospital. Somebody is also, <clears throat> they possibly can't sleep here because of some foolish mistake, okay? Somebody's watching their accounts obsessively. Why is the hang one here? You're dealing with a traitor here. So this is this is a family member, possibly, they're trying to bind you. Yeah, Ten of Cups, family, friends, family, people that you thought you could trust, doing things in the dark. Aaron Rising, Papa, I'll be in there in a minute. Go, go play your game, okay? So we have the emperor reverse. Okay, this is an absentee father. You know, if they have children, they don't take care of their children. This is somebody that's not financially responsible is what I'm getting. Okay, this person may look like, look the part, but they're very immature. This is somebody that's also a narcissist. They're power hungry. All right. They may have... Uh, came together with friends or family members or something like that. For some of you, they could have met someone that you know at some sort of party or an event. Somebody was celebrating too quick here, okay? Why is the Venus energy here? Ooh, Capricorn. Somebody's dealing with the Capricorn, okay? I feel like somebody you may have tried to sacrifice you or sacrifice somebody in a situation, but I feel like you're coming out of this. We have the strength card. So these people put you through a lot of obstacles is what I'm getting. Somebody had the courage to speak some sort of truth here. After going within, we got the hermit here, the hermit. Yeah. So somebody's in solitude. OK, somebody made a judgment call to end something that was very toxic in nature. Why is the world card here? Somebody's being patient, though. This person is holding back. OK, I feel like they're watching. Yeah, they're watching. They're watching you. This person may also be trying. Um, they feel like they have to compete for you. So this is somebody that that's that's possibly full of ego and pride. All right. Nine of Pentacles. This person is definitely trying to bind themselves to you. This person is receiving karma, though. Why is the judgment card here again for the hermit? 
somebody's in denial this person did not yeah they may have uh yeah somebody was denying the fact that they was putting obstacles on your back or your person's back this is somebody that continuously did something okay with the devil being here this is somebody that put a lot of commitment a lot of time into trying to bind someone okay trying to block you off from the collective yeah, somebody is very deceptive here, okay? This person was waiting for their ships to come in. Again, this is somebody that wanted people to ghost you, whoever this Nine of Pentacles is. Somebody is playing with somebody's energy. The devil? Yeah, somebody wants you to... Somebody wanted you to view them as their twin here, okay? This is somebody that was energy harvesting. They was taking a lot, and the judgment call was made. All right, this person may have gotten put out. They tried to put some sort of binding or baggage on you with the Ten of Wands here. You could be somebody that's in the public eye, okay? Yeah. Somebody was a thief here. They were petty with the Five of Swords here. They was trying to one-up you, okay? So this would be somebody, if you have a platform... <laughs> You know, this person, you know, if you want to get something, they'll go and try to get it before you get it type of bullshit here. OK, they wanted people to leave you go shoot. This may also be somebody that's taking your work and putting it on a different platform. Why is the four of swords here? Yeah. Yeah, so somebody was trying to slow down somebody's progress here. So they made a foolish mistake. Now this person is being haunted in their sleep. They can't sleep. This is restlessness, okay? Yeah, Queen of Swords, somebody's very cutthroat. This is somebody that only wants the truth. You may be confronting friends and families, okay, about some sort of secret things that they were... For some of you, this could be somebody like sleeping with your child's father or something like that. Yeah, somebody's going to, they, they're going to find out something. You're going to find out something about this uh, soulmate here. You could be dealing with a Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart. Somebody sees you as the queen of swords. All right. You may have cut out friends and family members. Okay. Yeah. Somebody may have wanted money from you. This person may talk real reckless and sharp. Okay. For some of you, this is somebody's wife that was purposely trying to slow someone's slow someone down. They always, excuse me, they always have their hand out. Four of Swords. Yeah, they was trying to block somebody from happiness here. They was definitely doing some sort of binding ritual in you know, in the dark in secret. Four of Swords. Yeah, husband. This is their downfall here. Okay, so we've been having that set up energy. <laughs> For some of you, this is somebody that can't sleep because they know that they are your divine counterpart. I feel like they were dealing with friends and family members that were slowing them down in the past. Okay, they also could have been lying to this person, saying that you were doing things in secret. For some of you, this person knows your child's father. Oh, so we have the thrones, the Ophidim's angel of knowledge understanding that sits around God's throne. Okay, so these are family members that possibly didn't know that you were earth angel. Okay, so they were doing things in secret. Why is the moon card here? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So somebody was misguided. Somebody was doing um, moon magic. They could have said that you were doing this is what I'm getting. Somebody could have said that you were evil. Yeah. So they was trying to bind someone. For some of you, this is somebody. For some of you, if you have an ex that's married, this is their counterpart that's doing this. For some of you, you are married and you have people doing work trying to separate you. Yeah. Oof. So it would be the other woman, okay? This is a toxic baby mother, a sister, an auntie, flying monkey, and the reason, okay? So if somebody's tried to stop somebody from marrying you, whoever these flying monkeys are, or somebody wants you to stay in a marriage and they do like root work, moon magic, or something like that. 
to, to bind you here. Okay. You could be dreaming about this person. Somebody's trying to send you like a spirit wife, a succubus energy in your sleep here. Some of you may wake up. You may wake up with some sort of stomach ache or something like that. Yeah, they'll never know. <laughs> so some of you, your ex and like a false flame is working together here. They did something to make people walk away from you. Three of Cups. These people were celebrating. They were celebrating because they felt like they separated something. Why is Three of Cups here? Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody somebody tried to finesse a situation. Okay, now this person can't sleep. All right. For some of you, they hooked up with somebody's ex, a, a baby mama. And the last reading talked about somebody that's into pink collar crime, like credit, credit card scams and things of that sort. So somebody was celebrating possibly an ending. I'm hearing they celebrated too quick. Why is this here? A great aunt or aunt. So somebody, this great aunt or this auntie, for some of you, it's uh, somebody's grandmother or mother that was celebrating breaking up a, a divine partnership here. And they thought she'll never know. Why is the lover's card here? Yeah, they met this person at a party or something. Premeditated, planned beforehand. So yeah, they plan to separate something here. They may have sent this person a false lover. This person was being tested. And because they hadn't cleared their karma or they were stuck in a low vibration, this person steady uh, is easily tempted here. Okay, they may have sent someone like a younger person to distract them. Because we got to look at this. Pay attention to yourself. Too much time spent on others or nothing at all. So this person was happy because they was able to send this person a false lover. Okay. For some of you, this was a false flame anyway. Why is the devil here reversed with the six of pentacles? Somebody's recovering. Somebody's in recovery here after being spiritually attacked. So this person could have paid somebody to spiritually attack you or separate you. For some of you, it's the nephew of a false flame or the nephew of your twin flame. Okay, they could have paid their uncle or something like that to do some work or vice versa. Okay, so it's an uncle that's possibly watching you and they're salty because their manipulation is not working. Yeah, somebody is greedy. Somebody's in debt here. They may owe a practitioner. Look, pay attention. So there's an uncle or a nephew that's watching you. They see that you're happy. They don't they don't understand why because they like, wait a minute, we separated this divine partnership. Okay. But I feel, yeah, there was a judgment call. Somebody could also have like a judgment put on their bank account or something like that. I'm hearing liens, liens or something. Judgment. So somebody, somebody received clarity about somebody that was being petty and putting burdens on their back. Ooh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday, I talked about somebody getting into a car flip, right? And now we have it. Today, I picked up in a reading that somebody was eavesdropping. So this person could have been driving, like just driving distracted driving they may have been paying attention to you if you have a channel or something like that and this person could have got into a car wreck whoever this person is in this five of swords energy somebody that's very petty they like to scapegoat people they like to put burdens on people's back this is also a thief somebody could some somebody could get into a car accident trying to steal something this person may have gotten to a car accident trying to steal something, and now they're on the run. But yeah, this person is on the run. <laughs> Child, what the hell? I feel like this person may have been listening to a reader, okay? And they were driving distracted. I see somebody spilling coffee on themselves, or, yeah, or dropping like a... a a left hand cigarette or a cigarette on it. Yeah, somebody got distracted here and they possibly got into a car accident. 
Now this person is on the run. I feel like it's this uncle or a nephew here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? A karmic woman as well. Okay, so. <sighs> Ciao. Somebody was watching the read and they got distracted by the truth. Okay, possibly that you know or this reader knew that they was collaborating with friends and family, somebody's baby mama and mother to put some burdens on somebody's back here. They may you somebody may have spoke some truth about somebody molesting a child here and somebody got distracted. Yeah, look, I'm addicted to watching it, man. What else do we need to know? They studying you. Are they studying readers to figure out what you know? So it says sending messages from a troll account. <laughs> from a troll account. Someone is using your picture. Oh my gosh. So somebody, somebody could be forwarding somebody's messages. And somebody's using somebody's picture. Now, this, they would have you blocked, okay? Who you, they're, for some of you, you are friends with this person on one account. They're using your picture and they have you blocked. Your divine counterpart could be sending messages to the troll account. Child. Yeah. You're being advised to cut this, to cut this person out. Some of you, you don't know, okay, that this person is catfishing you. They're using your picture and they're they're either adding people that you know or they're trying to talk to your divine feminine, divine masculine. For some of you, this person is trying, is, is their uncle or nephew or son that's using their picture here. This is somebody that could have got into a car accident because they got distracted. Look at this. It could be somebody's brother here. Your grandfather's brother or your uncle. What do we need to know about this deceptive person? They want to sleep with you. Okay, and what I'm getting is they're sleeping with somebody's child's mama. This may have came out in the community or at an office. Somebody's waiting for their ships to come in. What was these ships, child? Let me. This is. <laughs> Somebody wanted to come towards this Nine of Pentacles, but they got into a car accident. I did a reading about that. Three of Wands. So. <laughs> These people is crazy. What the hell? Oh my goodness. So, so they trying to delay you or delay a divine counterpart of yours because they're envious and jealous. For some of you, is is this your divine masculine or divine feminine uncle hooking up with somebody's baby mama or baby daddy? You don't know that these people know each other. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? This is too messy, y'all. Too messy. Oh, my God. But your divine counterpart can't sleep. Like, they know something is going on. You you two may be at odds with each other. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm hearing somebody's full of ego. So, it's a tower moment. Somebody could, somebody got blocked off here. Or somebody needs to block somebody off, somebody that's causing a whole bunch of illusions, smokes and smoke and mirrors. For some of you, it's a bail. <clears throat> some of you may have to get a protection order. Okay. For some of you, it could be uh somebody's child. Okay, this would be an older child with a woman, a girlfriend or a baby mama. Yeah, that's trying to it's, this is crazy. Some of you, this person, your child has a baby mama that's trying to help take a divine masculine out, possibly a divine feminine with the tower being here. 
So somebody's wife, they don't want to be single here. So they're about to have a tower moment. For others of you... Mm, So let me tell you, somebody has a child that has a baby mama and the baby mama is either doing tarot or some sort of spell work. OK, they're envious of a divine feminine. They're not a divine feminine. They may have even told your child that they were their twin to get them to do some sort of spell work on them. This has been coming out lately. Somebody's manipulative. Look at this. You were my oppressor and I have been programmed to obey, but now you are my handler and I will execute your demands by a group called Muse. So for some of you, it's this divine masculine's son, nephew, uncle, or something like that is, that is being manipulated or helping to manipulate a situation. Child, you can't make this shit up, child. I, I don't. Why is this wife here or daughter in reverse? Somebody lied, and now they're getting caught up in their lies here, okay? This daughter could have been a stripper. For some of you, this is a, a false flame. A false flame, a karmic flame that you were dealing with, baby mama is the stripper here. So it says it's always about vibration. Opposites attract to learn, le to learn lesson. That's a quote by me. So this person was trying to pretend like they were your divine counterpart, but this was a lesson. I'm hearing true energetic, energetic signature. Somebody knows your energy. This person was trying to mimic you. This person was envious and jealous. This is going to resonate different for everybody, but this is this is a whole lot of whole lot of. That's all I'm saying. I hope this gave you some clarity. Deuces.